Hello everyone, welcome back to The Printosaurus. I'm Aaron, and today we are gonna talk about the Nomi by Big Tree Tech, but not the Nomi that we all uh, are very familiar with. Um, it's been out for a while, uh, mostly used on the Voron type printers. I've seen a couple of Creelty mods where they have them on the K1 as well. This one is a new product by Big Tree Tech where they have adapted it to work with the Bamboo series printers. Uh, I'm told it's going to be available February 28th, and it is going to work with the A1, X1, and P1 series printers. So let's get into it. Okay, so before we get too far along with uh, checking out the new Panda Nomi, uh, let's talk about uh, what some people might be concerned with. And that is, is the pandanomi actually going to work when Bamboo does whatever they're going to do uh, with their firmware um, as they roll that out to their printers? I believe they're starting with the X1 and eventually that will trickle down to the A series printers as well. Uh, so I asked, I asked Big Tree Tech and I'm going to read you here uh, what they said in response. Uh, the answer is a resounding no. Based on Bamboo's latest announcement, only communications that require control of the printer will be affected. Since Panda Nomi only reads information from the printer, there will be no impact to functionality whatsoever. So that's what we're running with today. Uh, we'll see if that changes in the future. But as of now, based on uh, input from Big Tree Tech, uh, this Panda Nomi should be unaffected by any changes that Bamboo Labs does. So to prepare to install the Panda Nomi, what you need to do is remove your front cover uh, to your A1 unit here. And it's pretty simple, it just clips on and off. Uh, this is actually the same process you would uh, utilize if you're going to replace your hot end. Uh, but you pull this cover off, uh, it's held in place with a couple of tabs there. And then once you have that off, there's an extruder gear here on the front. So we're gonna pull that off too. Just pulls right out. And then now you can see we have our uh, kind of prepped plate here. Uh, there's some hot end removal instructions over here. But this hole right here, and you can see I already have my cable routed. That is the routing uh, spot that you're going to route the power uh, cable for the Nomi uh, unit. So you route this down through and then you would run your cable up and around and I'll show you all that here But for now, uh, we're going to stay focused on the hot end uh, area itself So you we have our Nomi in its case and prepped here uh, pretty simple to install uh, The case doesn't come pre-installed with the Nomi so you have to install it There's a back piece here that you just pop off and once you've popped that off you set the Nomi in place and clip it in and then once you've uh, got everything prepared here, uh, this simply clips back onto the front and is held in place the same way the standard uh, front cover works. So we have our uh, cable mounted. Um, I have mine relatively short, uh, everything zip tied in place. Uh, I would recommend not zip tying things in place so that way you can kind of pull this through, connect it, and then you can take care of any slack or anything you need to. So I'll show you the next step. Um, once you have this plugged in, we are now ready to power on the printer, which will power on uh, the Nomi as well. And we can walk through the actual setup of the Nomi. So we've got our Panda Nomi mounted to our tool head. So let's talk about cable management and then actually where you plug it in. So I have what's called split sleeve. I'm gonna leave a link to that down below in the description. It is basically a nylon braided sleeve uh, that is split so you can jam a bunch of cables in it. It makes everything look way nicer. Uh, and it actually looks very similar to what uh, you see on the A1 uh, for uh, that cable management. Um, so I also have a printed piece here on the tool head that supports the hub. It kind of acts as a brace for that. I'll leave a link for that as well. Um, I prefer this over what Big Tree Tech uh, does have available that you can print. They have a small clip that basically mounts here and allows you to clip that cable to it. This one, you're able to feed it through to the back and on the back there is a clip 
for the actual tool head cable uh, and it just seems like it supports everything a little easier um, and I think uh, you'll end up with a little more reliability there. So anyways you run this cable along and then I run it down the side here and then I just attach it with zip ties to the existing cables uh, that run off of the electronics on this side and then it plugs in to one of the two ports that are utilized for the AMS. Uh, here on the side. Once you have that done, we are ready to move on to the actual configuration. But first, let's hear from today's sponsor. So today's video is brought to you by PCBWay. PCBWay.com, jump online, check them out. It is prototyping the easy way. Hit the easy button and use their 3D printing services to do all of your prototyping needs, any mass uh, production you may need to do. PCBWay is a great option. They offer a number of different types of 3D printing services. They also offer CNC. And uh, if you do need a PCB, well, guess what? They do that too. So check them out, PCBWay, PCBWay.com. All right, so once we have our printer turned on, uh, this would be the first time you've turned the Nomi on. Now you could do this before you mounted everything in case you had an issue, but uh, for me, the process was straightforward. So I don't think you're gonna have uh, any issues with getting to this point. Uh, so, you know, it's up to you if you wanna mount it first, go for it if you don't, and you wanna program it first, you know, that is fine as well. There's no wrong way to do that. Uh, but once it is powered on, you're gonna be greeted with the startup screen or setup screen, and it's going to show you a QR code. So you're gonna take your phone, you're gonna scan that QR code, and what that does is it connects it to the Nomi over Wi-Fi and it's gonna bring you to like a welcome or landing page where we'll do the actual setup of the Panda Nomi. So once you get to that, you're gonna select your language uh, and then hit next. And at that point, we're gonna configure our Wi-Fi. So your Wi-Fi is gonna be unique to you. So whatever your Wi-Fi name is, uh, it, you can select it from the dropdown, enter your password, and then connect uh, to your Wi-Fi. Once that's completed, you're going to be prompt with a binding process, and that's actually how this is going to communicate to the printer. Uh, it's gonna bind over the printer's IP, which means it's going to change its IP to the same and then bind over a different port uh, so that uh, they can communicate with one another. So to do that, you'll follow the prompts on the screen, so we'll bind, uh, and then you can scan to select your printer. And once you do that, uh, what you need to do is find your access code. On your A1, uh, on the screen, uh, hit settings, and then scroll down until you see LAN only mode. Once you open that menu, you will see your access code, and then you simply take that code and input it into uh, the Nomi setup process, and then you can complete the binding process. Once that's done, uh, the Nomi will restart, it will take its configuration, and it will start communicating with the printer. And we are now ready to move on to any customization we might wanna do. And for that, we can do on the computer, we can do that on a web browser. You can still do it on your phone if you want to, but I found it easier to navigate uh, on the computer. So the default host name for the Nomi once it's all set up is pandanomi.local. So you would simply type that into the browser uh, and then we will jump on a computer and I will show you uh, the ins and outs of some of the customization that you can do. So you'll open up a web browser, you'll type in that pandanomi.local, and once you do that, you're gonna be greeted with a landing page for your pandanomi. And in there, you can make uh, certain changes and you can do some customization. Uh, if you click on the settings tab, that is where you're able to update the image or uh, firmware, you just simply drag and drop it and it will run through the update process. It is very seamless. I did a firmware update or upgrade. I got this a couple weeks ago and then Big Tree Tech sent me their latest and final uh, firmware version. Uh, and I was able to successfully update it and the process works very smooth. So what we're gonna focus on is some customization. So there is a theme tab that you can click on and once you do that, uh, kind of opens the door for uh, creativity. So you can modify any one of those set GIFs for each part of the printing process. So um, bed heating, uh, extruder temperatures, extruding, uh, filament loading, uh, you name it, you can change uh, whatever you want there. 
So uh, that's kind of neat uh, to be able to customize, you know, your display, change things. I have my uh, YouTube logo as the standby logo here. Um, you can even toggle an option there that allows you to alternate between the standby logo and a print percentage. So when you're printing, typically you only see the percentage, but if you wanted to have it alternate between the two or just display this, uh, you could. Uh, so a couple of other options there to customize that experience for you. Um, but that is where you would do, with, do that. Uh, you simply uh, stay within the guidelines of whatever gift size they say uh, for pixels. So I think 240 uh, is the norm for the majority of the uh, settings there. And you'll be able to modify it and change it to whatever you want, um, which is, it's, again, uh, pretty cool. So that's how that works. Uh, on this page too, if you have any issues with your printer binding or anything like that, uh, I have found um, that if you're not statically assigning your printer IP, uh, sometimes that IP reservation will change. You'll get a different DHCP address. And when you do, the Nomi and the printer will be out of sync. So what you would do in that case is navigate to pandanomi.local, go to the printer tab, type in the IP of your printer, and then things should automatically reconnect. So, so I've ran through how to set this up, some of the things that you can customize and change, and all in all, uh, everything's worked as it's supposed to, especially with the latest firmware update. Uh, doesn't appear to be any bugs or any issues, so everything is very stable uh, with the release version that I have uh, now. Um, with that said, who is this for? What's the target audience? Um, I feel like this is gonna be geared towards someone who likes to tinker or who just likes to modify things in general. It is cool to have an extra display on your printer um, so you're walking by it and you can just kind of glance over and see how long you have remaining on a print. That's what I like about having the one I have on my Voron as I walk by it. I've got 50%, 60% remaining, and I know more or less when it's gonna be completed without having to look at the computer or uh, wake up the screen. Um, now I know the A1 has a screen, uh, so you know it is a little bit redundant there because you could just click on the screen and get a status. Uh, but this is always on um, when it is printing, and I like to be able to just glance over and see it. So that might be appealing to you for that reason. Other reasons, customization, like uh, in my case, I have my YouTube logo as the standby screen. Uh, I think that is really cool. And you can customize other aspects, uh, you know, the heating, so hot end, bed temperatures, all those different screens, you can customize all of them. So if you wanted to change something and just add whatever it is, uh, whatever your style may be, whatever you want to do, uh, you're able to do that. So, uh, you know, this is going to appeal, uh, again, I feel like to the people who like to tinker, who like to modify, uh, anyone that is creative and just wants to change something to make it their own. Um, so all in all, a good product. I think this is another good one by Big Tree Tech. Uh, the Nomi's been out for a while. We know it works. We know it works pretty well. Um, the only variable there was how is it going to work on the Bamboo Series printers. And so far, things are working as they should. I also talked earlier in the video about uh, Bamboo's firmware changes that they're going to implement and that I reached out to Big Tree Tech and they confirmed that nothing should change. Everything should still function. So that is good to hear. Um, so, uh, link down below, I have, um, the affiliate link available. If you want to click on that and order one, uh, these are out, uh, February 28th and they will be available for the A1, P1 and X1 series printers. So pick one up now if you want one. Thanks everyone.